Let's look at question nine, working with confidence intervals involving population variance and population standard deviation. So a magazine includes a report on energy costs per year for a 32 inch liquid crystal display television. The article states that 14 randomly selected 32 inch televisions have a sample standard deviation of $3.74. So we're talking about energy costs here. Assume that the sample is from a normally distributed population. So construct a 98% confidence interval for the population variance, sigma squared. And then part B, let's do a, construct a 98% confidence interval for a population standard deviation. And then we'll interpret those results of each. So again, again, we don't have any really technology for the confidence interval for the population variance and the population standard deviation. We really have to kind of uh, rely on our formula. So we have this n minus one times s squared divided by chi squared r is less than in our population standard deviation n minus one s squared over chi squared L. So some things that we need to pick up on is n minus one is our degrees of freedom. And I'll set our sample size was 14. So our degrees of freedom is going to be this 13. The other thing is S squared stands for our, our sample variance. So they gave us our sample standard deviation. So we have to kind of do this 3.74 squared to start with. So let me pull up my calculator real quick and we'll go ahead and get that math. So that's going to be 13.9876. So the other thing we need is chi squared R and chi squared L. So that's where our, our table has to come into play. So to use our table, remember chi squared R are the values over this way and the chi squared L are the values this way. And the thing we need is, since it says the 98% confidence interval, so remember when we draw this out, so if I kind of draw out my chi-square distribution, remember it's not really symmetric. It kind of is offset, skewed to the right, kind of takes on this look here. So, you know, chi-squared L is over here and chi-squared R is over here. Now remember the area of the curve is still going to be one. And they said 98%, the confidence interval is in between here. So if that's 98%, that leaves me 2%. But that 2% has got to be shared equally on the outside. So that means this has got to be 0.01 here. Because remember, if you have 2%, if you divide that into two equal pieces, that's going to give me a 0.01 there. So what we pick up on is all I really need, need to do is figure out what this chi-squared R is in my problem. So let's see here, chi-squared R. We're going to use our table for this. And we're going to pick up on 0.01 and our degrees of freedom is this 13. So it looks like 27.688. And then this chi squared L, notice how we're going to be using symmetry. So if we have this 0.01, notice how it's 1, 2, 3, 4 from the middle. So if we go the other way, 1, 2, 3, 4, notice how we're, we're going to be using this 0.99. Because remember, chi squared L is actually the area to the right of chi-squared chi L. So that's actually 
it's actually the 0.98 and the 0.01, which is the 0.99. So that's what chi squared L actually is, is the area to the right of chi squared L. So 0.98 and 0.01. So that's at 0.99. So degrees of freedom is 13. So it looks like we're at this 4.107. So we now kind of use our calculator from here. So in getting our left bound, our degrees of freedom was the 13. And we're going to multiply by this 13.986. So I'm just going to go up here and grab it. So that gives me my numerator. Then I have to divide that by chi squared R. So it's this 27.688. So it gives me my left side. So this is going to be a six point, looks like five, seven. And then to do the right side, I'm just going to grab this numerator again. And we're going to divide that by chi squared L. So that's going to be 4.107. So I guess this is 44.28. So what we're picking up on then is this is our confidence interval for our population variance. So with 98% confidence, you can say that the population variance is between this 6.57 and this 44.28. We're 90% confident that that population variance is going to be between those two values. Now, the next thing we want to do is get the... Uh, the standard deviation interval. So to do that, we have to take the square root of each one of these. So if I do the square root, go up and grab this 6.56 thingy. So that's going to be then this 2.56 less than, then we go grab the other side. The square root, grab the 44 one, because it's then the 6.65. So that's going to be our confidence interval for our population standard deviation. So what we're basically saying is then with 98% confidence, we can say that the population standard deviation is between this 2.56 and this 6.65. So we kind of have that. Notice that the uh, the sample we came up with was $3.74. So notice that that should fall in between there as well, and it does. But now we're saying this now goes with the population, not the sample. So hopefully you find that useful for question number, I think that was number nine.